Well, hey guys, how are you today? I'm here today. I have another video that I want to uh, upload to you guys tonight. Want to get it up to you tonight. How many of you guys have ever had this life water? I am loving this. is my new water, guys. I love this water. And I actually collect the bottles. They're so cute. But anyway, this is not the subject. I wanted to come to you guys tonight because I was inspired to bring you guys another video. Um, I've been on YouTube a lot, just watching some of the people I'm subscribed to. And there was a topic that uh, one of my uh, ladies that I'm subscribed to was touching on. And I was like, wow, this is inspiring me to bring this to you guys. Um, I know a lot of ladies on here are probably shy or have been shy in their life. And it took a lot to try to, you know, get out of that and to um, work on finding confidence and I want to talk today about how to work on your confidence while you're shy or when you're shy guys I was one of the <laughs> shyest girls probably you ever wanted to know and sometimes I don't know if I want to call it shy if I was just a little quiet but anyway a lot of people called me shy when I was growing up and it was a lot of circumstances in my life things that happened to me as a little girl that caused me to like kind of withdraw into a shell and not be as outgoing and so I kind of grew up that way and even though inside my mind I would visualize you know being a part of certain things doing stuff and feeling vibrant and alive but you know it was just in my mind I just wouldn't talk much around a lot of groups and stuff I wouldn't you know start conversation I don't know I don't I can't tell you what it was it just like I said some circumstances of things that happened to me growing up so, you know, it takes a lot for you to come out of that. And one thing I have to say, you have to be able to display some type of confidence in your life when you get out here in this big old world by yourself. You may be able to get by with that while you're young, as a teenager, as a young kid or whatever. But when you become an adult, it is really important to be able to display some confidences. So I kind of jotted down some things I feel that can help you display some confidences until you actually gain it. I think sometimes it's very, it, it can, I can say easy, but I think you can grow out of being shy. I think it has to do with environment, exposure, you know, things that you do with your life can actually develop and help you to grow and to be a more confident person. So here are just a few things that I feel that can help you until you get to that point. And the first thing, I like my glasses. <laughs> The first one that I will always say up front is that you need to pray. You need to pray and ask God to give you confidence. It is so important to have that relationship with God because God hears you. If you have a relationship with God, if you are connected to the food line, the source line, our Heavenly Father, your best avenue is prayer. Go to God in prayer and ask Him to help you with your confidence. Number two, this is, I think, is another thing that you can work on. This is something that I think can help you. When you're dressing in the morning and you look in the mirror, you tell yourself that you're beautiful. You tell yourself that you're strong and you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, you tell yourself that you can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything in Christ Jesus. It is so important to speak life to yourself. You know, a lot of people don't feel that that's something that really actually works but when you repetitively tell yourself something your mind is trained to believe it so when you look in the mirror in the morning you tell yourself that you're beautiful you tell yourself that you can do it that you can make it through this day it is so important to talk confidently to yourself so that would be my number two thing that i suggest that you try number three would be to watch your posture you know confidence has a lot to do with your posture and your stature. When you walk into a room, if you're slumped over, if you're holding your arms like this, like a lot of people do, it can display to people that you're insecure, that you're scared. If you walk into a room and you got your shoulders back, you're standing tall, you're looking around, you know, walking tall, I think that actually gives you an allure or a look of confidence where people can look at you and they can feel the confidence that it's exuding around you from within you. That is very important. And uh, make sure, and this is number four I had come up with, 
look people in the eye. I know sometimes it's hard to look at people when you're talking to them. When you're very shy, it is hard to carry a gaze, especially if the person you're talking to is carrying a gaze, gaze with you. You know, you're looking in their eyes and you have a tendency to want to look off and you're talking down and you're not looking up. That actually gives people the, the thought that you are scared or that you're not confident or that you're fearful, that you're weak. So it's good to try to do it. And one of the suggestions that one of the ladies that I was listening to said was that if you can carry a gaze for at least five seconds before you look away. Look at them in the eye for at least five seconds before you look off and then look back. Because sometimes you might need to look off to be able to, to gain a little another breath you know, of confidence. So if you look off and look back after five seconds, that may help you. So make sure that you give eye contact. You want to sound like you know what you're talking about. You want to sound matter of fact. You want people to feel that they can believe in what you're saying and what you're doing. That is very important. Number four, no, that was number four. Number five uh, is to, what did I put down here? Can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> okay, that was, no, I'm sorry. That was number five. Okay, look people in the eye. Don't hold your head down. When you're looking at the ground, hold the eye contact. I think I had four and five together. Four and five together, guys. Anyway, number six, I think I skipped one, but anyway, number six is to smile. You know, smiling brightens your face up. Smiling brings light into your face. When you smile, when you put your, your smile on your face, it just exudes confidence, exudes happiness. It makes people feel good to be around you when you can look at them and you can smile at them. Don't wait for them to smile at you. Because a lot of us tend to, when we're walking around, we have like things going on in our mind. We may be thinking of all the things we got to do today, the problems we have at home. And sometimes your face can put on this look of seriousness, like the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders. So if you could just take a moment and walk into a room and, and look around the room and just give a big smile when you walk in the room, it brightens you up. It gives this look of happiness. It makes people draw to you. It makes people want to be in your face. And it makes, it illuminates and it radiates. And so that exudes confidence. And my last one that I put on, I put down number seven. Put clothing on that makes you feel good, that makes you happy. You know, a lot of times people don't think about that. You know, we wear, we have a tendency sometimes to wear dark clothing. I know that sometimes darker suits in corporate America can, can say, strong confidence or business but sometimes it's okay to put pop a color if you're wearing a black skirt or a brown skirt you know or a dress you can put a pop of color you could put a scarf on that has some color in it a red scarf you know dress to make you look like you are you got it going on you know and i know everybody don't have a big elaborate wardrobe i don't do a whole lot of shopping myself i shop very very sporadically i shot when needed but i know how to mix and match pieces that i have that will be presentable for me when i go into a, a corporate environment or a business meeting or uh, an after five uh, dinner or whatever when you dress with confidence you know people can see it you know put on something that makes you say you know you're happy or that you're strong you know you can actually kind of research colors that actually make people feel a certain way. So those are just a few tips that I have that I used when trying to gain my confidence before I actually had the confidence. You know, it takes a lot of confidence to come on YouTube and, and, and leave a video. Leave videos sometimes that no one comments on or no one likes or sometimes you may get more dislikes than likes. It takes a lot of confidence. But the way I look at it is that if one person is inspired, by this video then I have done my job but it takes a lot of confidence to sit here in front of this camera and talk to it as if you're talking to someone sitting directly in front of your face so practice makes perfect you know if you stand in the mirror and talk to yourself in the morning and you tell yourself you can get through this day you tell yourself that you're strong you tell yourself that you can do whatever God says you can do 
Saying that to yourself enough will give you the confidence that you need to be able to go out in this world, tackle this world, and succeed in this world. You just have to believe in yourself. So that is just a little tip, some little advice. I'm sure some of you already know it. If you got any more you feel that could be added to this list, please feel free. Everybody has ideas. You know, I welcome them all. There are things probably I haven't even thought of, but... Uh, one lady said something about wear high heels because high heels make you stand tall. Hey, if, by all means, if that makes you feel confidence, they say it just gives you a stroll. If you feel that that's beneficial, then do that. So I know there's other ideas out there. Please share them. Share them to help some person out here in this world feel a little bit more confident in themselves until they can gain the strength to feel confident about who they are. So that's all I have this evening, guys. I'm going to chill out tonight. Watch me a couple movies, drink my life water. <laughs> and you guys have a fantastic evening. And I'll probably get back with you guys later on, closer to the weekend. Take care and have a fantastic evening. Peace and love, guys.